to go. They're all on the line, Jack. They've done two races already. They're tired. They're sore. They've been smashed by the surf. What's it take to win the final race of an Eliminator? Well, we started with 21, Josh. We're down to eight. And have a look at the jam-packed list of talent. Harriet Brown is there, the current world champion. Brielle Cooper is there. She won the last round. Then we look at Maddie Dunn, Courtney Hancock, Danielle McKenzie, Jordan Mercer, Carly Nerven, and Emma Dick. They are all there. They are all firing and all ready to get this one off to the best possible start. Ski, swim, board is the order. So look for the likes of Mercer and McKenzie early on, on and away. No real dramas at the moment. They get smashed by one, but whoa, the start has done no favours at all to Courtney Hancock. She's been belted by a little bit of a shore break back into last place and it doesn't get much worse for the likes of Courtney Hancock as she tries to get her series back on track and now get back into this race with Brielle Cooper on the right-hand side. Had the best of it and is now sitting in the lead. Well, I'll look for Danielle McKenzie who should go to work in this ski leg. Harriet Brown, we know she's strong in every leg of an Iron Woman event and Courtney Hancock is currently out the back door. A little mistake from her and look, all the girls got hit by that wave so there was no way that it was the starter's fault. Courtney Hancock just made a small mistake where she's come off and now she's got plenty of work to do. Well, the one saving grace for her is it's all uphill from there because it can't get any worse than that. She's a long way down and trying to claw her way back into the race. Jordan Merce having a little bit of trouble. Carly Nerve and Harriet Brown, they get their noses all up in her business and she can't get her paddle in. Carly Nerven goes round the outside. Maddie Dunn goes the far way. No, that's Danielle McKenzie's gone the far way round. The strongest ski paddler of them all trying to get to the front and Harriet Brown well just looks a little bit tentative there as she bounces off the turning can gets back into her stroke and starts to work her way home as Jordan Mercer goes to the front and I think that's where she thinks she belongs in this Iron Woman series she hasn't been there for over 12 months but is this the turning of the tide well, there's five girls, Josh, out in front at this stage, and the five or four are starting to run away with it. Can Brielle Cooper, the young gun, go with them? Can Courtney Hancock claw her way back into this one? She's having a little bit of trouble at this stage, as is Emma Dick and Maddie Dunn, but there's still plenty of racing to come. There is still a swim leg, still a board leg. Plenty to come for these girls to put themselves back into this one. We've got a group of five in the lead and then three dribbling out the back of the field at the moment. Mercer puts the power down. The drive through the legs there. Maddie Dunn on the pink and Emma Dick on the stripe ski. They're trying. They need a wave. They need a wave to get in. It looks like Courtney Hancock's found one, but out of nowhere, she's found one but the rest of the fields on one out in front you can't give the best iron women in the business an opportunity like this and expect them to let it go brielle cooper up and away she's got the young fresh legs and she's gone straight to the front of this iron woman race harriet brown in second place danielle mckenzie in third so that's how they finished in round two will we get back-to-back -back podiums i don't know because jordan mercer carly nerven want to shake up the apple cart well, a lesson for those at home. Brielle Cooper was the first one up off her ski, and now she's leading through transition. Maddie Dunn comes around. She's got plenty of work to do, as does Emma Dick and Courtney Hancock, but they're not out of this one. Heading into the swim leg, Emma Dick has been swimming out of her skin, as has Courtney Hancock. So these two are probably two that can pull the room back off this gap on the leaders. Well, Harriet Brown, she got a lesson in getting off the ski and then gave a lesson in running in through transition. She went straight straight past Brielle Cooper, got those nice long legs up and over a couple of waves and went to the front of the race. And that's what you have to do if you want to win Ironman races. Continually push the pace and continually go to the front. So some great lessons there. Brielle Cooper was good at the start of the transition, but bad at the end. Harriet Brown built through it, went to the front and is now looking to extend the lead. And is this where Harriet Brown's title defense really kick starts? Well, it's those one percenters, the little things that make the biggest difference. And if you can do that, them race after race, day after day. That is where you're going to put it all together when it comes to racing. Jordan Mercer currently sitting in fifth place. Emma Dick working her way back up onto the feet of the lead pack. So a great swim. An entry into the swim leg there from Emma Dick has put her back up into this one. Well, Maddie Dunn and Courtney Hancock are there as well. And just like that, those gaps early on have closed up. But there is maybe eight body lengths, maybe more from first to eighth place in this race. Harriet Brown's gone to the front. Cooper's in second, Nerven's in third, Mackenzie's in fourth. Mercer's stroke just looks a little bit short. She might have used 
Well, maybe a little bit too much in that opening ski leg there. She looks like she's just shortening up and trying to hang on to the likes of Danielle McKenzie, where in the past you'd expect her to swim straight past her and around. Brielle Cooper, though she's hanging on to Harriet Brown in the lead. Carly Northern rounds the can in third place, just has a little rest there. McKenzie in fourth, Mercer in fifth. Then it's Courtney Hancock, who's done a stellar job to swim herself back off the bottom of the field at the moment. Dick and Dunn are in seventh and eighth at the moment. The girls start to wake their way home and we see the biggest change up in all the races so far has come in the swim leg when they've gone back into the break. These waves, while they make a difference on the board and the ski, they make the most difference in the swim leg. Well, Kendrick Louis, we saw him go from second to seventh in the wave zone, costing him qualification into race three and today's final. The girls are on their way home. Brown, Cooper and Nerven one, two and three as they start to push towards the break. Oh, a little lift there, but not enough. It looks like Danielle McKenzie's dropped off there. Jordan Mercer's dropped off as well. So they're clinging. They're just trying. Oh, Jordan Mercer's gone even further back. Courtney Hancock, she must be so fired up after that start. She swum through the field and into fifth place. Dunn's in sixth. Mercer's in seven. Emma Dix in eight at the moment. The girls stand up and look around. They know there's a wave on offer. Will any of Mackenzie get down it. Will Mackenzie get over the top? She will. So that's four and Harriet Brown's the only one who's done the right thing. That's a lesson in surf skills. The rest of the girls took the soft option. They decided to wait for the easy run up the beach. Harriet Brown, she was tough. She was hard. She got up and got going and she's got the lead heading into the final leg. Well, I think Harriet Brown was the only one with legs long enough, Josh, to get her up from that way. And she did exactly what she had to do. She used her long legs to her advantage. Get them up on the bank and start waiting while the other girls waited for their way. You and I would be in neck depth water there as Mackenzie and Nerven go round in three and four. Brielle Cooper, she missed the final in the first round. She won the race in the second round. This girl's either on or she's off, and today it looks like she's on. Emma Dick in last place, but they're still close enough, if good enough. Courtney Hancock's done everything right, and wouldn't it be something if she can get herself back into this one? Oh, as Harriet Brown goes off, a nipper-style mistake there from Brown. She was threw it away and into green water, and now she's back in the pack. But she's pushing still out in front, Josh. A little mistake, but she made sure she grabbed that board quickly, corrected what she did wrong, got herself back on and away, and it's Carly Nerven chasing. Brielle Cooper and Danielle McKenzie over to the right-hand side. They're to the left-hand side of screen now. They're going to be on the inside when it comes to the cans, but have they got enough room, or has Harriet Brown pushed this one and he's still getting away? Mercer and Dunn trying to drag this group back in. Courtney Hancock looks like she's worked very, very hard in that swim to get off the bottom of the ladder and Emma Dix in eighth place. But isn't it interesting? Early on, Harriet Brown and Danielle McKenzie, the two better board paddlers in this group before, were on their knees pushing hard. Carly Nerven, Brielle Cooper, they were on the stomach. Looked like they were doing it a little bit tougher, but maybe Nerven's just going to go the whole way around on her stomach there in second place. And Harriet Brown drops down as she comes into the can, the safer option. It's all about safe options here. She works on the inside. She was second in round two. She'll be looking to win in round three and get her title defence back on track. Carly Nerven, she's built over the last couple of years and I think this could be her breakout year here and now. Danielle McKenzie an incredible performance so far as well. None of these girls are out of it but they've got a lot of work to do if they want to catch one and two in Brown and Nerven. Well Carly Nerven's done the work to pull herself up. She was just off the wash of Harriet Brown but she's done what she had to do to get herself right on the tail of Harriet. Now she's conserving energy they've gone around that last board turning can they'll come up past the swim can and it will be a race home to the beach Carly Nerven trying to conserve but she may not have enough left it's Harriet Brown out in front she's up on her knees she's driving back to the beach there's the swim can there we know there's about 120 meters to go back to the beach and Harriet Brown has lifted Carly Nerven has lifted Carly keeps asking Harriet the question can she hang on can you do you have enough left Harriet or can I come over the top? So look at Brown go, and Brielle Cooper's come out of nowhere. That is a jag if I've ever seen one. She's got a wave and a runner that's gone straight past our leaders and into the lead, and a race in two has all of a sudden turned into a race in three, and Harriet Brown cannot believe it. She thought she was home for all money. These two were one and two in the first race. Oh, Brielle Cooper's sat up. We've seen it have dire consequences in the first couple of races. No dramas. Harriet Brown's left them behind. She's decided to run. Brielle Cooper's 
gone up alongside her. She's gone from third to first. Will she lose the sprint up the beach? I don't know. Don't count out Carly Nervin on the far right hand side. She's coming quick. It looks like Brielle Cooper's going to get back to back wins in the new Chagrain Iron Woman series. A star is born two in a row for Brielle Cooper of Karawa. What a performance from her. Who would have thought she came from the clouds to dominate the final stages of round three and pick up a second straight win there. She has arrived and she is a force in the new Chagrain Iron Woman series. Well, Maddie Dunn crosses the line. Geordie Mercer following her. But what a day for Brielle Cooper. Back-to-back -back wins in the Kellogg's new Chagrain Iron Woman series as Courtney Hancock makes her way up the beach. Courtney Hancock was doing it tough from the very start. She'll finish in seventh place there. Emma Dick, she's happy. High fives Tian Raymond as she heads up the beach in eighth. A great performance from Emma Dick to make the final there. The big high five on the beach, but the big story of the day is Brielle Cooper. Two from two in the last two rounds there. That is an absolutely stellar run, and it could be the start of a big, big summer for the girl from Karawas. Harriet Brown in second, Nervin in third, and then we take a look all the way down to 21st place in Georgia Miller. Here we are on the finish line of the final eliminator. Brielle Cooper, back to back, simply amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's talk me through the race. Obviously, it's tough. It's the third round, so it's a final round for you going through as well. It must be very tough out there. It's so tough. You know, we've done two irons already. It's short, sharp. The pace is definitely on. So to win is, I can't believe it. Now let's come down to that, that, that last um, board leg. You know, in third position, what was going through your mind around that last can to chase home? I was just trying to get as many runners as I could, hopefully. See if I could just get on the back, even just get on the podium would be so happy for me. So, and I knew coming up next to Harriet, it'd be a struggle to get that sprint up the beach, but I'm just so happy. Outstanding performance. Now they say to win it once could be a fluke. To win it twice proves you the best. Back to back, great feeling. Yes, it's the best. I set myself a goal to try and go back to back, but I never knew how it would go. So I'm so happy. I'm sure your mum and dad will be very happy as well. So on behalf of everyone here at the Ocean Six, congratulations and best of luck for the rest of the series. Thank you very much, guys. Well, what about Brielle Cooper? Just like that, she's only got two results and maximum points both times. The rest of the girls, they're running off three scores. So Harriet Brown, she's 29 points in front, but she's got a race to drop there. It'll be interesting as we start to do the calculations as the summer goes further and further on. Jordan Mercer, just inside the top 10. Creedy Hancock, Raymond Miller, Electra Outram, the young gun who wasn't in the final. Nicola Owen got big points here today with her result. We head further down Ali Britton. Kirsty Higginson didn't go drowned due to injury. We wish her the best of luck. Bay Wilden Snedden and Taylor Pascaric in 